Hi, welcome to another virtual program from the Waldorf Public Library. Today we are going to read Old Bear. It wasn't anyone's birthday today, but Bradwell Brown had a feeling today was going to be a special day. He was sitting, thinking thoughtfully on the windowsill with his friends Duck, Rabbit, and Little Bear, when he suddenly remembered that somebody wasn't there who should be. A very long time ago, he had seen his good friend Old Bear being packed away in a box. Then he was taken up a ladder through a trap door and into the attic. The children were being too rough with him and he needed someplace safe to go for a while. Has he been forgotten, do you think? Bramwell Brown asked his friends. I think he might have been, said Rabbit. Well, said Little Bear, isn't it time he came back down with us? The children are older now. They'll look after him properly. Let's go get him. What a marvelous idea, said Bramwell. But how can we rescue him? It's a long way up to the attic and we haven't got a ladder. We could build a tower of blocks, suggested Little Bear. Rabbit collected all the blocks and the others set about building a tower. It got very tall and Little Bear was just putting the last block on top when the tower began to wobble. Look out, he cried. The whole thing came tumbling down. Never mind, said Bramwell, helping Little Bear to his feet. We'll just think of something else. Let's try making ourselves into a tower, said Duck. Good idea, said Bramwell. Little Bear climbed on top of Rabbit's head. Rabbit hopped on Duck's beak. They stretched up as far as they could. Then Duck opened his beak to say something. Rabbit wobbled and they all fell down on top of Bramwell. Sorry, said Duck. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Not one of your best, said Bramwell from somewhere underneath the heap. I know, said Rabbit. Let's try bouncing on the bed. Trust you to think of that, said Bramwell. You can never resist a bit of bouncing, especially when it's not allowed. Rabbit climbed on the bed and started to bounce up and down. The others joined him. They bounced higher and higher, but they still couldn't reach the trap door in the ceiling. Duck began to cry. Oh dear, he sobbed, what are we gonna do now? We'll never rescue Old Bear. He'll be stuck up there getting lonelier and lonelier forever and ever. We shouldn't give up, Bramwell said firmly. Come on, Little Bear, you're good at ideas. Little Bear had already noticed a plant in the corner of the room. I've got it, he said. I'll climb up the plant, swing from the leaves, kick the trap door open and jump in. In case it wobbled, Bramwell Brown, Duck and Rabbit steadied the pot. Little Bear bri bravely climbed up the plant till he reached the top leaf. He took hold of it and started to swing to and fro, but he swung so hard the leaf broke and he went crashing down. Luckily, Bramwell Brown was right underneath to catch him in his little paws. That was a rotten idea, said Little Bear. What was I thinking, said Duck. Oh, it's a pity we can't fly. That would have been a big help. Aha, said Bramwell. That, my dear Duck, has given me a good idea. I think it might work. In the corner of the playroom was a wooden airplane with a propeller that went round and round. We could use this plane to get to the trap door, said Bramwell. Rather dangerous, I know, but honestly, I can't bear to think of Old Bear up there for a minute longer. I'll be the pilot, said Rabbit, hopping up and down, making airplane noises, and I'll stand on his back and push the trap door open with my paintbrush, said Little Bear. But how will you get down, said Duck. I already thought of that, said Bramwell. They can use these handkerchiefs as parachutes, and we'll catch them in a blanket. Bramwell gave Little Bear two big handkerchiefs and a flashlight so he could see into the attic. Then he began to wind up the propeller of the plane. Rabbit and Little Bear climbed aboard. Bramwell Brown began a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. They were off. The plane whizzed along the carpet and flew up in the air. The little plane flew beautifully. And the first time they passed the trap door, Little Bear was able to push the lid open with his paintbrush. Then Rabbit circled the plane again, this time very close to the hole. Little Bear grabbed the edge and with a mighty heave, he pulled himself inside. He got out his flashlight and looked around. The attic was very dark and quiet, full of boxes, old clothes and dust. He couldn't see Old Bear at all. Any bears in here, he whispered. From somewhere, he heard a muffled grrr, followed by a, did somebody say something? Little Bear moved a few things and there, propped up against a cardboard box covered in dust was... Old Bear. 
He found him. There he is. Little Bear jumped up and down with excitement. Old Bear, Old Bear, I found Old Bear, he said. So you have, said Old Bear. Have you been lonely, said Little Bear? Quite lonely, said Old Bear. But I've been asleep a lot of the time. Well, said Little Bear kindly, would you like to come back to the playroom with us now? That would be lovely, said Old Bear. But how do we get down? Don't worry about that, said Little Bear. Bramwell thought of everything. He gave us handkerchief parachutes. Good old Bramwell, said Old Teddy. I'm so glad he didn't forget me. Old Bear stood up and shook the dust off his fur. Little Bear helped him into his parachute. They went over to the hole in the ceiling. Ready, shouted Rabbit. Steady, shouted Duck. Go, shouted Bramwell Brown. The two bears leapt bravely from the hole in the ceiling. Their handkerchief parachutes opened out and they floated gently down, landing on the blanket. Welcome home, Old Bear, said Bramwell Brown, patting his old friend on the back. The others patted him too, just to make him feel at home. It's nice to have you back. It's nice to be back, said Old Bear. That night when all the animals were tucked in bed, Bramwell thought about the day's adventures and looked at the others. Rabbit was dreaming exciting dreams about bouncing as high as an airplane. Duck was dreaming that he could fly high and was rescuing bears from high places. Little Bear was dreaming of all the interesting things he had seen in the attic. And Old Bear was dreaming about good times he would have now that he was back with his friends. I knew it was going to be a special day, said Bramwell Brown to himself. And that's the end. I'll see you soon for another virtual class.